And welcome to the Dr. Bob Show. Wow, what's bothering my eyes? They're driving me crazy. They're itching and, and they're red and they're tearing. Is it allergy? Do I have pink eye? Nobody else in the house has pink eye. It's supposed to be contagious. Did I scratch my eyeball? No, that's usually not both eyes. They're red and they're, well, is it COVID? Does that bother eyes? Does the treatment for COVID bother the eyes or is it just allergy? We're going to be spending most of this show differentiating allergy in the eyes, nose, throat. Is it allergy or is it cold? And we're going to talk about what we can find out about why allergies are causing so much problem. My guest is Dr. Laura Green. Dr. Green is a board certified allergist. And I'm going to try and keep my focus on just allergies and how they can bother you, make you tired, ruin your life. She'll answer our questions. I'm Dr. Robert Overholt. I'll be here with you also learning about allergies and teaching allergies and having a great time. Should be a great show. I'm looking forward to it. You're going to love the show. We're talking with Dr. Laura Green, board certified allergist and immunologist, and we're going to be talking about what is driving me crazy this time of year, allergies or infection. Dr. Green, welcome to the Dr. Bob Show. Hi, thank you. Uh, it's nice to have you here. You're a great teacher. I've had you here before, and I'm looking forward to this show. So tell me, what's out in the air this time of year, mid-March, that's causing people symptoms of anything? Well, it could be really several things. Uh, usually around this time of year, we're starting to see some of that spring pollen, uh, which in this part of the country, we're starting to see tree pollen in the air. Uh, and it's when we really start to see some of that yellow pollen hitting the cars and- uh, You can write your name on it. Is that pollen that you can write your name on? It is. So if I took a, a little bitty pat, patch of pollen like that, uh, and looked under the microscope, how many pollen grains would probably be there? Oh, you can see a bunch of them. Oh, just a They're whole They're very bunch. small. Uh, Almost microscopic? Microscopic. Do they uh, <clears throat> fall from a tree to your nose or do they spread in the air? They spread throughout the air, and those are the ones that really tend to cause people a lot of problems, are not the pretty flowers or the pretty trees that have a lot of pretty blossoms. It's the ones that have their pollen that's dispersed widely by wind. So the pretty flowers are pollinated by bees, insects, ah, by insects. That, and they're designed actually when the bee goes in, it catches the pollen and flies to the next flower. Right. But elm tree has a little thing that hangs down or oak tree does. Do those are those ugly flowers. They're ugly flowers. <laughs> they're not as attractive to bees and insects. And so they have to rely on the dispersion by wind, or we call them wind pollinators. Uh, and they can travel for hundreds of miles so that they can cross pollinate uh, between, between plants. So how do you avoid them? You can't. <laughs> so they're everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll talk about some things that we can do to improve that. So the flower on a tree that's blooming right now, that's not really pretty, and you might even not know it's a flower, disperses and come. Where, how does it attack the eyes and the nose? So one thing that happens is you breathe it in through the nose and it's not supposed to be there. So the body can tag these things as foreign and create an antibody response so that the next time you breathe it in, your body's all ready to go with appropriate antibodies to attack those foreign particles wow. and create an allergic reaction. So it's an antigen that, that would be what? The antigen antibody, the antigen would be what? The antigen would be the pollen. That'd be the pollen that hooks up to an antibody that's where? That's in the nose. Okay. And we call those the IgE antibodies. IgE, is that the allergic antibody? That's the allergic antibody. Are there other antibodies? There are. Ones that fight off infection? Correct. Same families? Same d but, but cousins. Cousins, <laughs> that's the best way to put it. And as I remember, the IgE, the allergic antibody, part of it wants to hook up to a mast cell, has an affinity for the mast cell. It does. What's in that mast cell that causes trouble? The mast cells have a lot of different things that can really make you miserable. Histamine, 
leukotrienes, other cytokines, and when those mast cells degranulate, all of those chemical mediators are really dispersed, and that's what tends to cause the itching and the, the runny nose and the swelling, uh, and that's what makes people miserable with allergy symptoms. Do we have medicines that might help that if we're getting itchy and sneezy because of huge names you said, leukotrienes and cytokines and all of the stuff that comes out of a mast cell. What's the main one that makes us itch and run and sneeze? Histamine. We have a lot of histamine that are released from mast cells and there are good medicines that can help with those symptoms uh, and, and you can find them over the counter uh, yeah. at your local store. So those chemicals that come from a degranulated mast cell, histamine, what symptoms do they cause with the nose and the eyes? So you can have itching, you can have runny nose, and you can have stuffy nose. Uh, sneezing would be a big one. Itchy eyes, that's what tends to bother people the most, are the itchy eyes. How do, I've always watched people scratch their eyes, and I would think they'd do this, but they seem to want to put their whole fist in there. Is that because it's just... It's just so <laughs> awful. It's just so itchy. Um, I, was, I was in a bank one time, and somebody had itchy eyes, and they were red and swollen and puffy, mm -hmm. and the mother came in, so I've got to take my doctor to look at pink eye. Mm -hmm. Does allergy eyes look like pink eye? They can really look very similar. We call both of those conjunctivitis, which uh -huh. just means inflammation of the conjunctiva in the eye, and that can be from allergies, it can be from viral illness, which is what we refer to with pink eye. Uh, but they can really present with a lot of the same symptoms. And it's important to know which one it might be because one's contagious. Uh, which is contagious? The viral form of, or pink eye is contagious. Yeah, and it's you'll really, know. <laughs> <laughs> Every, which spreads in the house like, but at the same time, they're, the allergic family goes outside and everybody gets both eyes too. Mm -hmm. So it's sometimes very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, uh, have you ever seen it so bad that it looks like there's gelatin on the eyelids? Yes, uh, and those <clears throat> those can become pretty serious for, for patients who have severe uh, allergic conjunctivitis in particular. So if we're teaching mom and dad what allergic conjunctivitis looks like, mm -hmm. it's red puffy eyes and the child's having trouble and see the doctor and let them decide. Yes. Okay, what, is the, what are other physical findings above the neck with somebody that's having that allergic reaction? So for, for kids who have the reactions quite a bit, you're gonna see some, some hallmark things. One thing that we see frequently is a, a line across the bridge of the nose or a horizontal nasal crease is, from sniffing. We, uh, we call that the allergic salute uh, that, from right. pushing up the nose. So if people would look under the mirror and they push their nose up, they can see, they can make their own allergic crease. Correct. Around the eyes, uh, from chronic nasal congestion, we'll see dark circles under the eyes. So children or adults that have frequent stuffy nose, they'll have those dark circles or what we call the allergic shiners. And they may even have some little lines right here from, from the puffiness and those are called Denny's lines. And so if you really puff up your eyes with your hands to fake it, you'll see those lines. And the dark circles, are that's because there's congestion and they can't drain because of stuffy nose? Correct. Okay. So allergic shiners, Denny's lines, from rubbing the nose. When you sneeze, is it a blast here and a blast there, or is it fits of sneezing? It can be either, but usually they, it comes more than once. Okay, so four or five times? Mm -hmm. What's your record? What's the most the patients told you they sneeze in a row? I think my record has probably been about four or five times. Okay, so being an older allergy physician, I had one patient said it's always 11 times when they say, <laughs> and it's very difficult. People, when they sneeze, you cannot sneeze, try it. You cannot sneeze without closing your eyes. So if you're driving, fits of sneezing can be dangerous too mm -hmm. from that standpoint. What's the nose look like? The nose or the nasal mucosa of an allergic patient is going to typically be pale. It's gonna be very swollen or we'll say boggy, because uh, it's just that pale, 
um, inflamed looking. mucosa. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, is it typical? That's pretty typical. We can usually look inside someone's nose and at least have a pretty good idea if they're going to test positive on skin testing. So there's certain ways the nose looks, uh, pale, wet, boggy. If it was infected, what would it look like? It'd usually be more red, inflamed, uh, inflamed. Swollen, maybe some yellow stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the throat? What happens in the throat? People get a lot of uh, drainage down the back of the throat and it causes what we call cobblestoning, which is some swelling of the lymphoid tissue in the back of the throat. And it'll look like a cobblestone street. Uh, and, and patients will notice that when they swallow, it feels like there's something that they can't get out of the back of their throat. Have you ever heard this noise in a cafeteria? Mm-hmm. Oh. People are scratching that itching in it. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of, are there good medicines for that? They're good medicines and, and they're readily available. And that's what we're going to be talking about when we come back. If you've got fits of sneezing, runny nose, red eyes, itchy eyes, driving you crazy, don't feel good, allergy or cold, it may, you don't know sometimes until you see the doctor, but there are good medicines out there. We're going to learn about what those are and some are over the counter.